Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to our playthrough of Stories Untold. I think we're just going to play one mission here, episode three, and have a Gucci time because, damn, last playthrough was lit. I love these stories, so I hope we get it on and we enjoy this. So let's go. Let me update the game, Stories Untold. And let's also update, what is the title right now? This, I love this intro. It's so, 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 so. Is it too loud for you guys? I think that's very loud, maybe. It's very, very Stranger Things. I love it, dude. Love it, love it, love it. Station three, do you read me? Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Oh God, no, a storm. These are the worst types of things. Come on, three, log in. Quit fucking around. Oh. So we got to log in. What's the password? Hello, mate. Cheers, love. I don't know what the password is. Password. Oh, it's uh, zero three zero three one nine six eight. There we go. Yes. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> yes, he can't reply. He should be able to hear you though. You can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. Okay. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. It's on my left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Okay. Where's the... How do I look to the left? Oh, you have to press tab. Here's the handbook. What the frick is this? Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. How the frick do you zoom in on this thing? I can't read that. I don't know. Okay, handbook. Oh my god. Contents, cover forward, appendix. Okay. How do you zoom in? What the hell, bro? What do you miss? I've literally just started when I don't even know where we are. Portfolio. Kansas. Okay, that's great. Mask. Okay, I presume these come later. Holy crap, how much is there to this handbook? Look at all these appendices! Damn. I have no clue how you zoom in. I would like to think there's a way to zoom in. You can only like rotate.
Okay, screw it. It's telling us to do... Oh, what, were they just talking about this? Wow. Okay, so we need to tune it to FM. That's fine. Um, 1,000... 930. Whoa, okay, I went way too far. Input broadcasting authorization. All codes must be treated as confidential. Okay. We basically did just start. Stop being a whiny, moany person. I don't know what the key is. The intro was, we're going to send stuff over. There are instructions on your left. Check it out. Log in with a password. That was it. There's your intro. You can watch the stream back if you really feel like you missed out that much. I can't believe I wasn't on FM. Does he say 30 zero? Thirteen. Forty forty nine three. Hey man, that's how are you? What? Thirteen zero fourteen fourteen nine three. Becky, what? Thirteen zero fourteen fourteen nine three. Sure. Thirteen zero fourteen fourteen. Yeah, you right. Nine, three. Code word. Abacus line one. This is a test. Trace back code is sensitive, confidential. What? Okay, this is where I feel like we need to use this. That's how you focus. Right, that's how you focus. Here we go. This is how you zoom. So what do we need to look at? Abacus. Where's Abacus? It's page six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe not. What the hell? Where's Abacus? It said page six. Did I go past? Kansas. Oh, no. Okay, I'm hella confused. It's right here. Okay. Well, we got to zoom in. How are, how is everyone today? Okay, on receipt of the callout code, conversion operations must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. Sys.exe-d-e Sys.exe-d-e, I think. Allocate colon 202-a How do I do the next line? Oh, enter. Right, 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 right. What was it again? Allocate. Two, 
202. Dash A? Question mark? Yep. Output log. Dash false. Okay. I think that's right. Execute. Yee. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stops. So I think you did it right. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Man's got a London accent. He does, doesn't he? 3500... USB. Two. Twenty-six. There we go. Chevron. Chevron, nice. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. Sigma. What were we looking for? Eagle. Eagle, Sigma, Abacus. Chevron. So, how many pages along? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> I saw Chevron. Here it is. Zoom in. Focus. Ref dot in it dash W. Ref dot in it dash W dash Z. Proc begin. Get dot int. X Y Z. Ref dot in it dash W dash Z. My crap did ref dot in it dash W dash Z. I can't even remember. W get. Proc begin. Begin process. Get dot in it. Dot int even. Was it int or in it? No, it's get dot int. X, Y, Z. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, I got that wrong. Get that in. What was wrong with that? Does the caps matter? Oh. Varial replacement. Where X is the second, Y is the fifth, and Z is the sixth number from the broadcast code. Okay. Second, fifth, and sixth. Second, whoops, second, fifth, and sixth. Second, fifth, and sixth. One, four, four. Zero. That should be it, I think. Quick. 20. 6. 14. 0. 1, 2. How did that not work? From the broadcast code? So is this the broadcast code? Or... Five, six. 
Wait, 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 wait. Broadcast code and callback code is different, so it's not the callback code, it's a broadcast code, so maybe it's um, Chevron or something like that. It's... Yeah, you're right. I thought it was 20, that's why. But it's 26, one word. So, the second, right? So, six. Twenty-six. Fourteen. Zero. One. Bleh. What did we put in first? Twenty six fourteen zero one two. How am I losing my mind? It was the fifth and the sixth, right? Bleh. Why is this so stupidly difficult? So, why am I stupid? Just read the bottom of the screen. Traceback code is case sensitive. I'm gonna try a Chevron. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, help me, chat. You're telling me what? What are you telling me? It specifically says numbers, though. Well, whoops, I did not mean to do that. So you're saying 612. I don't get how that works. What was it? What's the broadcast code? So it should be six. That, that doesn't make sense to me, but okay. If it works, I'm dumb. I don't get how that works. It is 26. Okay, well, I'm freaking confused. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, no, this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two right. have been kept in the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can I get what you're I saying now. That was stupid that. though. It's just hecka confusing. I keep turning it off. Oh god, is it now Morse code? <sighs> well, frick. Frick if I know how to do this. Is there anything to say how to do it in here? Doubt it. You're meant to listen for the Morse code, right? But how are you meant to translate it?
Or is it the numbers? No, that doesn't make sense to me. Go to the menu. What menu? I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know if this is the page we want. I don't think it's on this page. Closing. Ah, conversion. Morse code, Appendix A. Right. Oh, there we go. This reminds me of, um... Okay, here we go. Oh wait, we can rotate this. Why am I turning my head like that? Lol. Five, five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. It starts with one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's eight or zero, right? Da -da 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 -da. Zero. Seven. Okay, do that again, please. Five. Frick, dude, this is so confusing. <laughs> I think it was two sevens. Da, da, da. Three. And zero. Og. Og job. Okay. Kansas. Let's find out about Kansas. I'm actually happy I'm not doing this on the front page. I don't know if I want to play this on the front page of Twitch because I'm going to look real big dumb on the front page of Twitch. Not that I don't look dumb normally, but you know. Frick, dude. This is tough as hell. Kansas, where you at, Kansas? That was canvas, right? <laughs> Here it is. Well, this definitely won't be one of the games we play on the front page anyways, because it's risky as hell. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following commands. Yep, and dynamic variables. Where X is the largest number from the original broadcast, Y is the largest, smallest number. Okay, the largest number was nine, smallest was zero, easy. Point dot package dot exe, or ex even, point dot package, right, dot ex. Oh, you can type it whilst you're here. Um, the largest number was nine. Point dot pig dot ex zero. This better be working. Yeah, it's working. Sal dash a dash four G four G pog champ. Okay, one, we're 
we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They're using emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Eight to eight and a half thousand. We'll just sift through and see if we can hear anything. Does anyone read? This is supply vessel 20F. Do you read me? Oh my god, that them. This is a distress signal from supply vessel 20F. Please respond. Is anyone there? Yes. We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but try to turn back, but Storm, or them, have messed with our GPS. Them? Yeah. What on earth is he talking about? We're holed up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. What? Everyone's gone there now. What? I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but I can see it coming. Be ready. All of you. It's 20 F out. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, two. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabins. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Oh, who are they? I want to lock Shit, my door. Trust me. GCS signal coming in. Do we, do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time, it's six this time. What does it mean? That's good, that's good. Just process the signals. Zulu. That's it in. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Oh, we missed. Zulu. Oh, fuck. Sierra. What was the first letter? Oh, it's Mike. Okay. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Echo. I I think we need to convert it to a number, probably. Mike. I was saying that was way too easy. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Here we go. Is this it? It's not Morse code. Okay, here we go. Alpha phonetic conversion. Are you kidding me? We have to convert it twice? Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Whoops. Echo. Well, what do we need to convert it to? Oh my god. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. We have to convert it twice, I think. Okay. Oh, that's just a phonetic alphabet. Yeah, sure. I know that. 
Frequency. Oh, okay. So it's just this part we need to look at. Luckily, I know the phonetic alphabet already. I mean, it's not that difficult. <laughs> Frequency. Oh, it depends which frequency you're on. What are we on? We're on 6970. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. This is all we need. Mike is... 15. Zulu is what? Zulu is two. Sierra is... 21. Hotel is... That's H. 10. Bravo is four and seven. Zulu. Sierra. Og. Centaur. Let's see what Centaur's got for us. Centaur! Where you at? Here you are. So we need to do a bit of... M.status-r I can type this now, can't I? Yeah, I'll just type it now. M dot status dash r command dot string dash z h dot grid dot w quick <laughs> fudge god damn it <laughs> I had caps lock on obviously it's gonna be wrong for the first one M dot status dash R command stri what was it? Dash Z H grids all of this in lowercase pretty much What do you mean? What's wrong with command? Oh, I forgot the dot. This is too real right now. This reminds me of programming too much. Come on. One, are you there? Oh no. Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over station three, two. They're here. What's here? Jesus one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Oh no! He went offline! Shit. Here's another signal. GCS7 <laughs> equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. She doesn't sound that terrified, honestly. She's like, one, what the hell? Come on, man. Stop messing around, one. What are you doing, one? <laughs> 
It's like, bro, he could be dead. And you're just here like, one, come on. What are you doing? That was easy. Sacrifice. That's that's not um, terrifying at all. Guys, are any of you walking around in that store? That's crazy. You'll get yourself killed. Oh crap! No one is outside. You're seeing things. Freak. This is terrifying. Um. Yeah, thank you so much for that follow, by the way. I'm actually low-key scared right now. Heartless. Welcome, 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 welcome. To the 24 Cat Club. Thank you for joining. Uh, sacrifice. <laughs> Horror. Just a bit. Sacrifices forever along before Chevron. Ah, here it is. Yeah, Heartless Blaze, thank you very much for your follow, dude. Um, FBI, open up! <laughs> God damn it, stop. <laughs> Please. I don't want the FBI coming in. Guys, I'm shutting down Station 5 and getting the fuck out of here. They took 6. Station 6 is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. That sounds great. Um, where X is numbers one, two, and three from the original broadcast. Oh, come on. Uh, that's not too bad, to be honest. Rot.x. What else was it? Okay. 189. Activate. I can't read that. Does that say activate or actuate? That says actuate. Okay, actuate. Zero four five, right? Point one. Now what is Z? Authorization word from Appendix C. Okay then. Where's the appendix? Is this it? Which appendix was it? Was it Appendix D? I thought it was Appendix C. Well, this is fun. Signal, signal modulation was USB. Broadcast frequency was 8150. Process total number of Broadcasts. Total of the broadcast numbers. Nine. Eighteen. Zero. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Was it greater than thirty? Uh, no. And it's Alexander. <laughs> Clearly I added wrong. Yeah, 27. I was going to say, I was right, bro. Come on now. My maths ain't bad. So it's Alexander. And it's case sensitive. There we go. I'm worried. That thing was still, like, outside. 
hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. Um. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. What the hell? What just happened? Why am I upside down? Something's got me! What the hell? Wait, what? We're actually outside? Why is my vision so blurry? Also, why is the sensitivity so freaking high? Bro, I don't freaking like this. I don't want to go outside. Don't make me do it, please. Fine. Okay. Yeah, it didn't matter anyways. Either way, it was going to be less than 30. Do I need glasses or something? Why is my vision blurry? And why was I... I was like pulled out, surely. He didn't just say, okay, guess I'll leave. Whoop, fell to the floor and like just walked along the floor. Well, we're dead. Yeah, I think we legit need glasses. Because everything's fine up close. Well, I'm scared. You think this is going to set off a nuke? Maybe. I mean, given... Given the extremity, if the... If the whole of New York is gone, then yeah, I'm not surprised that they want to get rid of this place. Or just get rid of... a place. Wasn't this a lovely stroll? Did I just walk in a full circle? There's a cable. This is four, right? Ah, here we go. This is probably what we need. There we go. Oh, this is like the witness, just scuffed and scary. Do your stuff, mate, because I don't know what I'm doing. How do I change this stuff? I don't think I can change it. Guess we gotta turn on the other generator first, maybe. Brad's gonna be here in two minutes. The witness mixed with Dead by Daylight, exactly. It's Brad, your Ocado driver, Reese. <laughs> do it, do your stuff, source it out. Dude, I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Oh crap. What the hell did that do? I'm guessing I gotta go back to my station, right? Okay. 
But he'll be your death if you don't see this through. Okay then. I can't feel my legs, James. What the hell? Is she okay? I'm so tired. What are you doing? James, please. What do you mean? Stop freaking me out, He's girl. Coming He's coming back. Oh, crap. Was that the alien speaking? I know our names is... I know our name is James. What the frick was that? Was that like a freaking? Am I going crazy or did I just see something? Can you walk down the stairs, please, James. James, everyone is waiting on you. We need to wake up. Wait, we're sleeping. These machines—they are your lifeline. Follow them, please. Are we still being experimented on? This is the same dude as... James, go to them. Tell them what happened. What the frick is that? Oh, there's the tentacle monsters. Mr. Asian, can you hear me? Yeah, it's Mr. Asian! What the hell? Welcome back. What the frick? To be concluded, bro, what did I- Okay, we have to continue. I'm just gonna finish this right here now. What the freak was that? They're all connected, yeah, that was the very first thing. That was the very first episode. Okay, we have to do this. The last session. Last episode of this freaking awesome game. I'm loving it. Just another beautiful day. And you? Doing great, man. Doing really well. Excited. I feel like this cape is so stupid. What do you guys think of this cape idea? Bad idea, right? <laughs> I think that's enough of that for now. Whoa! What the hell? You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Jesus. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Who what? Oh. Okay. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. This is set in the old, old days. So, yeah. What is even okay. going on? Are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. The 80s. Dude, I'm so confused. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. Right, we are James Asian. James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, 
James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Wow. It's like a oh my god. What the hell? Again? I don't want to. Oh my god, the walls. What the hell? Just casually watching the walls drip in blood or blackness, whatever that is. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do this. Fine, screw it. We have no choice. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Okay. What the hell? I'm hacking confused, bro. 5000. 610. How have you been, anyways, Sid? Sorry, I didn't really ask you. I've just been had my mind blown by all these beautiful games we've been playing recently. Why can I see things so much more clearly now? Stop rotating so quickly, damn it. Wait, is this as- oh yeah, that's as far out as you can. Fatal accident. Oh, this is different. Road traffic accident file report. Fatal accident. This is 20F. Code word report. How far along can it go? I was about to say. Okay, let's just look at the report. Fatal accident, number of vehicles to Pleasant Hill Forest Road. Date of birth, we were born 63. Station wagon white, Charles Hennings. Dames Asian, okay, so that was us. Arrived on the scene to discover. Why don't you say your theory after we finish the game, Reese? Or just. Well, I mean, you can say your theory, but your theory, your theory might be right. I don't even want to know theories, because, yeah. Arrived on scene. An empty whiskey bottle. So is it? We stared out of control. I should read read this. 
Accident description. Arrived on scene to discover two cars had been involved in a nearby head-on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His vehicle with head head in injuries. Oh, sorry, no. His um, passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. 20F fatal accident. Okay, what? Now what do we enter? Type in the numbers. Okay, um, let's try and actually work out what we need to do. What do we need to do? Line one. No, but you can still say I had a hunch this was going to happen after it happens. You don't need to say the theory now. So line one is, yeah, it's just the first one. 20F dash fatal accident, I guess. I don't know if it's all caps. Oh, it's all caps. Oof. Oh, well. Empty whiskey, out of control. Whoops. I almost typed it with a Q because of whiskey. Thanks for the luck. As well, Sim. Sorry, I feel like I missed your message. I know, I wanna ex- There we go. Whisk would be proud, he would, wouldn't he? Seven thousand FM. It's not likely at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years, and not once have we even talked about alcohol, drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Oh my god, this is like too low. I changed my mouse mouse sensitivity and now it's like too freaking low. This isn't creepy. Someone else is here. Nice. Okay. Why can't I read this? My vision's blurry up close as well? God, my vision sucks. You grab the keys from the table. 
They weigh heavy in your hand. Where should we go? Comb Awards? That must be where we are. You've spent most waking moments in here. The only video game they have, some horror trash. Okay. Hello? You only caught a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why there's no detail here. Okay. Another door you never opened. You don't know what was in there. Wait. To be fair, we didn't open some other doors, I swear. Can we go through here now, or nah? Nope. We ain't going through there. Dude, this is like a creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Carl? How are you? What the- what- what just happened? The waiting area is dark. Did I just shrink? That was really weird. Good, what about you guys? Doing okay. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Nice. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Do I? Okay, we have a 22 year old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. What the hell? I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10. Oh, fudge. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Come on, 100 joules. Charging up full to 10. This is gonna be real bad. Come on. So, is that our heart in there? Oh, wow. Seriously? You're making me kill myself? Thanks. 100 joules. There, you have it. What else did you need from me? Can we get this on the screen, please? Oh, right. Fair. I don't know what you want to see on the screen. Can you say that again, please? Oh, the camera needs to be on. Okay, that's creepy. Yeah, I know we jewels charging up full to ten. I'm full to ten. Is this the amp? Where's the amp? Where's the amp again, dude? I've forgotten all of this. I'm not turning on the drill. Charging up full to ten. Ten! What did you This is I'm so happy I'm not playing this. There's loads of people in front of me. Where's the amp, guys? I've genuinely forgotten all of this. Far right, you think this is the amp? But I can't even enter. Do I have to type? No. Is there a certain wavelength or wave type you want? Far right. This. Yeah, this was already charged full to 10. The amp is a red triangle button. Where the frick is that? Oh, 
A red rectangle. Yeah. It's up to ten. What do you want? You don't want the X-ray, Ray, do you? Oh my god, dude. A hundred jewels, let's try flipping the wavelength or the wave type. Uh there we go. I had to turn off everything else. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charge to ten. Two hundred jewels. Keep the charge at ten. Let's go. Clear. We're killing ourselves. Nice. Okay, we a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Okay. I don't think the waveform matters, honestly. 360. Come on, 360, hurry. I wanted to try change the waveform. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Okay, Through this is state, creepy. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Is the x-ray? Like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. There you go, buds. The drill, please. Oh crap, what are we about to drill? Wait, I swear I, I did it. Didn't I do it right? Oh, I accidentally turned that back on. There we go. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, bro. Oh no. Oh jeez, that's not nice. Dude, I'm freaking out. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mum, Dad and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw you a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living, living room and as usual, you don't recognise a soul. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mum and dad. There's a door to the hall. Go to door, go to hall then. You push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room and door to the kitchen. Let's go to the living room. You shuffle past people to get back there to the living room. Not only, okay. Oh wait, I went back to the living room. Let's go back to thingy. I'm reading it out, but I can move the cam if you would like. I'm literally reading out everything. Uh, let's go back. Whoops. Gosh, you guys are so needy. Go to the kitchen, please. Let's 
I'm joking. They all say the best. Whoops, I miss that. The kitchen is full of people and loud. Dad drinks some food on the table and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Good. Why are they fighting apart? Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Um, there's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is signalling... Jen is here signalling you. Happy New Year! 1986 on another banner. Weird place to hang it. They spelt weird wrong! God damn it. Come on, game. Come on, bro. Jen is a sissy. You never went to the room, so you wouldn't know. No, but they literally already said she's our sister. <laughs> they said at the beginning, Jen, your sister. And she's also the sister who we killed in the crash, presumably. Um, go to Jen. You push through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. No. You tell her you're not having fun. She frowns. <laughs> She tells you to enjoy it anyway and loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. No. She speaks up over the din, asking you to get her a drink. No. <laughs> Fine, yes. Okay. Jen is patiently waiting for her drink. Go get drink. You power you pour Jen a drink and one for yourself. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have ever sorted... If you have everything sorted for the big trip. You tell her, yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family? Sorry, are we on? Your family have really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jenna's disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up, but first a drink. You pour down another drink, anything to move the night along. Um, right. The room is full, there is a utility room and writing on the wall. Let's go to utility room. I got confused because it said, um, wait. You go to the room, you're never allowed in here normally. This is where dad keeps his fine wines and whiskies. Ceiling to floor racks, a collector, although he doesn't, he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Grab bottle. Get bottle. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. Here's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around about you. There must be hundreds, no, thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Go to dad's. Yeah, right. Uh, look around again. Go to door. Go kitchen, even. Head back to the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Should I go to my room? 
busy and noisy, you'll need to find somewhere quieter. Go to... Go upstairs. Go to room. <laughs> go to... Go back, maybe. You go back out to the hallway. There we go. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Go to Jen. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Go upstairs. Oh crap. I'm sorry for not under- I don't understand. Oh crap, hello. Oh, that's creepy. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Zation, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Zation, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Damn. Savage. You're standing in the hallway. Something had stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks you if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Doors to the kitchen and living room lead from here while stairs can take you up. I'd love to call it a night, but Jen is waiting patiently. Um, go out. There's no point till you find those car keys. Oh, okay. Where are the car keys? Think where car keys are. Kappa. <laughs> of course. Um, let's go to... Living room. Check under your butt. Yo, what's up? You sure your keys are in the living room? The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. Hello, Sarah. How are you? You would say that. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mum is pouring a drink on at the drinks cabinet. Okay, a coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Go to coffee table. How are you today, Sarah? What? Check coffee. Check drinks cabinet. Go to drinks cabinet. What do you mean? Okay, go back, screw it. Well, try coming back. No, it is in here. Go to mum, maybe. Nope. Are you? Just coffee table? Go to coffee table. Bruh. And also, how are you, Quillen? Bruh! This game! Wait, is this scary? Nope. 
It is a bit. Just a bit. Look around for cues. Look, coffee table. Wow, you had to look at it. Drink on coasters like proper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Okay, look. Cabinet. Your mum's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys there. Look. Chair. Friends in conversation. Jackets and coats everywhere. Search. Coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Go back. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen, thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is any fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Not quite. How are you good sir? I'm enjoying this game? Question mark? This game is something. Um, go out. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad to have your jacket with you. There's a disgusting snow. There's a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits in front of the house. Go to car. You fumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you to maybe use a key in your hand. Use key. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. The car is freezing. As you fumble around with your back seatbelt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and the key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. Drive. The car doesn't move, given the engine isn't actually on. It's like you've never driven before. Shut up! Turn on engine. Shut up, game. Sassy. You try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower despite holding the keys in your hand. Okay, sassy game. Use the freaking keys. Takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key in the ignition. Turn key. You turn the key in the ignition and the car starts to roar to life. <laughs> Hold down the shift pedal. <laughs> Drive. Whoops. The car squeals, but you stay stationary. Jen suggests releasing the brake. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so freaking pedantic. Um, release handbrake. You very hesitantly release a handbrake. First gear. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I swear to God, if you tell me to get in gear, I'll be upset. Drive. You put the, guy in, the car in gear and pull out the drive like a first time driver. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? I can't remember. Uh, left. Drive left. You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen for directions. Ask Jen. She grunts and throws her arms to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. Left. Go left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened though, is You're it? All over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister. Strange, there is a set of headlights coming directly at you. But really slow. Like, slow motion. Swerve! 
You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside Just joins the inside. The whole world around you begins to scream. wake up in the car, your world is upside down, your seatbelt struggles against gravity. Whoa, chill, bro, get out my face. Um, your seatbelt struggles against gravity trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car was torn, has torn a hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into the car from the engines. You are in grave danger, you have to get out of here. Open door, get out. You can't move, your seatbelt is still in place. Take off seatbelt. You realize you release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Unlock door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Open the door then! You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground. Every breath brings pain in your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note. And flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Um, I'm just going to hide my cam. Should I hide my cam? How many cats? Screw it. I'll leave it on. Uh, what do you mean, dude? 24 of them. Yeah, 24, exactly. Look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from the crash cars to the sky above. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Let's read the note. The note always changing now reads, Get through, the, get through this, James. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay. Look at lights. Walk away. Whoops. Fick, dude. I don't know what to do. Check passenger on check Jen. Look, Jen. Okay, maybe not. Drink whiskey. <laughs> Come on, James. If you drink this now, you're going <laughs> you are going to get what's coming to you. Then drink it. No, I'm joking. Screw it, drink it. Okay, no. Um, look at lights. I don't know, wave. I don't freaking know, what do you want me to do? Check the blue car. The hazard lights are blinking and fumes are rising from the engine. Through the smashed windows, you can see the motionless driver. Look at the driver. It's an older man. His body is slumped and his face is blood blooded. Yeah. Um check man. Help the man. He's dead, James. He can't be helped, but he still might be able to help you. Give the whiskey, then. Give man whiskey. 
Nope, you can't do that. Yo, Pathron, thank you so much for your following. Welcome, 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 welcome. To the 24 Carat Club. Uh, I don't understand. Um, let's check on Jen. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Why are the lights going on and off? Help. Go to car. What car? The other car or yours? There's nothing that can help you there. You need to fix this before the police arrive. Um, drop bottle. You can't just drop it here. As soon as they find it, they'll ask you questions. Well, give it to the fucking man. Put bottle in blue car. What good is pouring it out here, James? You still have the bottle. Give bottle to man, old man. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Okay, then put the bottle in the blue car. <laughs> oh my god. You're not at the blue car. I literally typed blue car. I am at the blue car. Go to blue car then. The door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this. Put bottle in blue car. Oh my freaking god. Open blue car. No, no you break window break blue car window <laughs> okay you can't do that then I don't freaking know scream cry <laughs> uh, oh my god I don't know what to do what do you want from me game I agree with you we wanna we wanna we want to freaking frame the other dude, right? Look at blue car. Um, pour whiskey on the car. Well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? They will eventually find it there and will link it to you. <laughs> this game's so savage. Um, cry because you're gonna get touched by a big 300 pound man in the showers in a bit. It's so true. You typed whiskey in car. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, open car boot. Uh, kill your sister? I don't freaking know. What what crazy thing would this guy do? Throw bl bottle. Throw whiskey. You can't just toss it away without thinking that they'll find it and they will come to you. True. Drive the car off the edge of the cliff and go off with it. I mean, that would be great. Go to my car. Okay, well, the frick. Go to blue car. Look at blue car. Oh, blue car smashed into the passenger side. You're standing holding a whiskey. Oh, wait, let's read the note now, actually, because it changes. Reads. Get through this, James. I don't care if you want to or not. Oh, fine. Um, I genuinely don't know. Yes, I know! What do you think I've been trying to do? I've been trying to put the freaking bottle in the car! Put bottle in blue car, but it's not working. What good is pouring it here, James? You still have the bottle. Drink the bottle. 
drink the whiskey. Come on, James. Drinking now is not going to help. Type the way I typed. Put whiskey in blue cards. Literally what I typed. Fuck's sake. What was I typing before? This is such bullshit. I'm okay, but you know, I just get fucking pissed off because backseat gaming and I like I typed that shit. I clearly didn't, and I'm gonna watch VOD and be like, you're an idiot, you didn't type exactly what they wanted, but bah, this shit pisses me off. When the lights approach closer, you begin to hear the chill or the thrill of their sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. Literally what I wanted to do. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illumination the crash illuminating the crash site in darkness. Behind them an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks over to you. Go well, look at the silhouette. Oh, I type bottle. That's such bullshit, I swear. Uh, the silhouette is a police officer and in uniform. He beckons you to approach. Go to officer then. As you approach a man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. To remember. Okay. It was all your fault. Thanks. You're nice. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that office and you wrecked all the Oh, fake, dude. Even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Well, isn't this fun? Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. It's all my fault. I'm a terrible person. I deserve to die. It has to end, James. Dr. Alexander is always remote watching remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. Stop the recording. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Haitian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that was it. It's just a big ass fucking advert saying, don't drink alcohol, guys. <sighs> I low key dislike when things do that. It's like just. For all the alcoholics out there, this one's for you. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like... <sighs> Stupid. <sighs> what the freak was up with the flying alien crap? So you're telling me because he was watching this show non-stop in this asylum, 
that he's now just seeing it all fly around in his head. Yeah, I don't like when everything's in their heads, those sorts of stories. I don't know, it just seems like a stupid thing to do. Not really, but it's like... Uh, I don't know. I was just really hoping that there was more to this, you know? Why couldn't there be actual aliens? Nope, he was just crazy. Uh, they were just crazy. Yeah, it's lazy, that's what I think. Yeah, it was linked to the real story. Don't get me wrong, the way they told this was great. But the ending's such a letdown. Just like, yep, here's all in his head. I mean, I'm not saying it was bad. It's just... I don't like when games get you invested. I was like, okay, I really want to actually see what's up with this alien stuff and what have you. But then, you know. Uh, no, it was just a druggie. Oh, okay. Sure. Fake this fuel tastes good, man. Anywho, um, if you're watching just for stories untold, I hope you enjoyed. I did enjoy this game, but it's just, I don't know. That ending, I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> it just didn't end the way I wanted it to end, you know? So, anywho, um, I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you in whatever game we decide to play next. Till then, this is Gold Carrot signing out. Peace.